Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh This is Adib Yaw Lecture for um, Mechanics of Material Section 3 um, In this chapter we're going to learn about uh, bending moment bending stress actually um, uh, but just a quick recap for what we have done before um, In chapter 1 we learn about stress remember that and then chapter 2 we learn about strain Chapter 3 we discuss about the material properties of different materials and then in chapter 4, we go to the axial load that leads to axial, axial stress, it's a normal stress, isn't it? And then chapter 5, we go to the torsion. So basically we have torsional moment and then it, it causes, um, it generates um, the, the shear stress, tau equals to t rho over j, isn't it? And then in this chapter, we're going to learn about what will happen if a beam is applied uh, uh, bending moment is applied on the beam so basically it will generate uh, normal stress which is called as a bending stress okay so the chapter objectives uh, for this the co uh, according to the course outline basically we have 6.1 to 6.4 only so basically 6.1 is the shear and moment diagrams hmm? uh, let me go to the point uh, 6.1 and then 6.2, we're going to uh, use graphical method to construct shear moment and bending shear and moment diagrams. And then 6.3, we're going to discuss on bending deformation of a straight member. I mean the theory behind that, just a bit, wee bit on the theory. And then 6.4, we're going to do the uh, to learn about the flat shear formula. This is the most important part on uh, this chapter, bending, bending moment or bending stress. <laughs> Uh, so by by the end of the the this chapter, the students should be able to determine the internal moment at the section of a beam, and then after uh, determining the internal moment m, so the student should be able to determine the the stress caused by the bending, which is sigma. All right, we're going to look at fracture formula on this formula. So shear and moment diagrams. So basically, oh by the way, for shear and moment diagrams, though it is learned here, or actually some of you probably learn in statics, in general mechanics statics. Uh, for shear and moment diagrams is applied to the beam, right? Beam. So what is a beam? Beam is a long straight members like this. Hmm? I think you have seen before. It must have some kind of support, whatever type of supports. Okay, and some kind of some kind of loading, some kind of loadings, uh, subject to loads particular to their load axis. So, electrical axis is this axis, right? So, the load will be perpendicular like this. Okay, otherwise it will be axial. If the load is applied like this, then basically it will become an axial like you have learned in chapter four, alright? So, uh, to design beams. So basically, we have to find this variation, variation of internal shear V and internal moment M along its axis to find points where these values are maximum. So we want to find the V, V max and M max. Why? Why is that so? Because of course, for the design, basically we're going to look at the, what will be the maximum value because we need to ensure that the design, the material, the design, the construction should withstand the load, the, the applied load that we, we allow, okay? And then, so here we have to use the established sign convention. We're going to look at that later for the positive shear V, V positive here, positive V and positive moment, okay? So what we have to do is then we have to determine the uh, this V and M as function of X. What does it mean by that is V as a function of X or M, hmm, internal moment, as a function of X. X is the variation along the beam. Alright? And the functions can be plotted from the shear and moment diagrams. You see, Vx and Mx respectively. Alright? So shear and moment diagram. Oh, by the way, for shear and moment diagram, actually in this chapter, though we, we're going to learn about shear and moment diagram, uh, the stress that we're going to discuss uh, in this chapter, chapter six, is just the 
the one due to the bending moment diagram all right for the shear force diagram uh, the stress the resulting stress will be discussed in chapter 7 next chapter which is on transverse shear so what is shear how we do how we get the internal shear internal shear shear is obtained by summing forces per perpendicular to the beams axis up to the end of the segment while for the internal moment is obtained by summing moments about the section segment so we're going to look uh, we're going to do this exercise note the second combinations are opposite when the summing process are carried out with opposite direction so for now just remember this this is a beam all right this is the beam so it has a distributed load wx like this going up okay whatever shape i mean whatever function and then if you cut here and then you take either left portion or right portion of the beam so the the at the area that you cut here hmm, this is the area that you cut if you take the left portion then the positive internal shear will be going to going down all right if you take the right portion right portion here so the positive internal shear will be going going up so remember that for inter positive internal shear the positive direction of this v will cause the beam the, the the section beam to rotate in clockwise direct direction okay this is a sign convention uh, direction that which is um, agreed by the engineers right so we just follow that so what about moment internal internal moment okay same if you cut and then you have you take the left portion here or the right portion here so at the cut section the cut, the cut section area here so what happen is that if the the positive moment will go this way okay find uh from bottom to the top so okay the the idea is actually though actually you can try to remember this diagram but the idea for the uh positive internal moment is the the bottom one okay this is the section the bottom one will have tension all right the top one will have compression you remember tension and compression you see you see the direction of the m if <coughs> the, the positive direction of m is like this so the bottom part will be will have tension it will be in tension the top part will be in compression so basically if it is comp uh, if a uh, positive internal moment is applied like that so the resulting let me change it to another in color let's let's try blue so let's say i mean i'm going to exaggerate but we'll see this it will be something like this isn't it the shape the shape of the the beam right because the top uh, the bottom part will be in tension so it will extend while the the bottom uh, sorry the top sorry the bottom part will be in tension so it will expand while the top part will be in compression so it will be sh it will shrink okay so this is the positive sign convention for internal bending moment